What's a case study? A case study is in-depth research undertaken on a particular issue which could be a site, individual, or policy in its real-life context. When carrying out a case study, gather data from various sources and use them to prove your point. Data collection methods may be interviews or observations, case study varies depending on the subject. For instance, in psychology, the study will involve a particular individual. Therefore, a researcher will study a person's biographical information in relation to the part events. A case study is a research method, however, researchers will use other methods to support it. In summary, a case study will research the following. Describe an individual situation. Example, a person, organization, or institution in detail, identify the key issues of the subject. For example, in an assignment, the question should indicate the areas of focus, analyses the case with relevant concepts from your discipline or subject. If doing a nursing case study, you should use terms and concepts from the nursing field, recommend a course of action for a particular issue, give a solution. Especially for problem-solving case studies, from the definition above, I'm sure you know what a case study is. Contact us for any issues you have in writing case studies and we will assist you. What are the types of case studies? Numerous subjects use case studies like the social sciences, psychology, and social work. Also, the marketing field uses case studies to show a product's benefit or even sell their idea. As a result, there are several types of case studies depending on their purpose and design. These categories include illustrative case study. This case study examines a familiar issue to help others understand it. It's mainly the main type of study in research methodologies and it's usually descriptive, explanatory case study. This study is a primary project conducted before the main research. These studies occur in political sciences and mainly focus on real life situations. They help identify the research questions and methods for the extensive and detailed research or study. The purpose of this study is to identify situations for a further research process, cumulative case study. This study is the main type of qualitative research. It helps collect data from different sources and at different times. So, its purpose is to summarize past studies without wasting time on new research. Thus, it's a form of data analysis, descriptive case study. In case you have a hypothesis, you can create a descriptive study. The paper mainly resorts what you are going to study. Its purpose is to find a connection between the subject studied and the theories in the field. If you find a connection, then you conclude the study. Furthermore, the report may suggest how to develop other theories. This paper is necessary for quantitative data as a starting point for new complex research or studies. Critical instance case study, these reports usually determine the causes and consequences of an event. This study aims to determine a source with a unique interest or without any general interest. Intrinsic case study, this study is common in psychology, social work, or healthcare. The report's main focus is on an individual or a group closer to the researcher. The study aims to understand the subject, the history, and how they interact with the environment. We will analyze any case studies that you need from the above list. Our writers will do thorough research and present original work. So engage us in your project and we guarantee you 100% satisfaction. What are the steps of writing a case study? There is a procedure that you should follow when writing each case study. These steps help follow a standard plan to make your case study presentable. They include the following. 1. Preparation stage. Every case study requires you to investigate a problem, examine the alternative solutions, provide the best alternative, and have supporting evidence. So, before you begin writing, it's best to prepare and understand your case study assignment. For your preparation, carry out the following activities. Read and examine the case thoroughly while taking note of the relevant facts and key problems. Focus on your analysis if it's a business case study. Identify the problems and why they occur. Suggest the possible solutions to the issues and choose the best, too. Drafting stage. After collecting all the information, it's time to make your first draft. There are several ways of gathering data, like interviews, direct observation, and more, as outlined in this guide. Follow all the guidelines in your assignment to ensure you write the best case study. Remember, each format of the case study may vary depending on the subject and type of the case study. 3. 
Reviewing stage, you should cross-check whether you have added all the necessary report information at this stage. Check whether the paper sounds convincing to your audience. If you have any omissions, it's best to add them to make your document complete for editing and proofreading. If you are happy reading your document and it sounds great, you are almost. Another step is checking for grammar, spelling, and factual errors. Make sure you read through your document one by one and, if possible, have someone proofread the paper. These are the best steps we apply when writing your case study. You won't regret it when you hire us, we will deliver the most outstanding report. Let's find out the case study format for students. Case study format for students, according to the University of California Social Science Research Guides, a case study should have five sections. The paper should include an introduction, literature review, method, discussions, and conclusions. Introduction, like in any research paper, the introduction should explain the report's content to the reader. Let the reader have answers to the following questions. What's being studied in the paper? Why is the topic important to investigate? What is the background information of the study? Why did you arrive at this study? How will this report advance new knowledge? Literature, this section follows the same structure as any research paper. However, for the case studies, the literature review focuses on providing background information on the issue. The literature review should include the following relevant sources with works that help the reader understand the case study you are conducting, describe how each study relates to the others in a way that helps the reader understand why the report is applicable, give new ways that will interpret the prior research using the case study, point a way how your case study will contribute to understanding the research problem, highlight any gaps that exist in the literature review and how the study will help, find your area of focus or study within the existing literature. Method, describe why you chose a certain subject or case, the technique used, and why you decided it's the best to address the research problem. The methods used in each case study vary depending on the subject, like whether it is an event, person, place, or phenomenon, discussion, this section interprets and concludes the research analysis. A case study discussion should combine the description of the results and a discussion about their impacts on the research. Ensure your discussion has the following content. Reiterate the research problem. What were you trying to achieve with this study? Explain the meaning of the results or the finding and their importance. Relate the results to similar studies. You have either to show comparison or contrast and explain why your results are important. Acknowledge the limitations of your study. Suggest areas that need further research for the unanswered research questions. Conclusion. Make a summary of your case study in clear and simple language. Under the conclusion, emphasize how your research differs from or supports the prior research. Again, it's best if you include the following, reiterate the thesis of the study with support from the findings, state the importance of carrying out this study, show the transition from a detail to a general view of the case study issue, keep learning how to do different case studies research given as assignments.